Hey, Kevin. What are you looking at? Well, this is my new Dynatorch Super B 4x4 CNC table. And if you're not familiar with what a CNC table is, well, this is a plasma cutter, like the handheld plasma cutter that I normally would use, but it's right here. This is the actual plasma torch. It does the cutting. And this is the gantry that moves it back and forth on the table. So the whole thing is computer controlled. You design the part in CAD on the computer. You have to run it through another program to switch the format over so the machine will actually see what you're doing. And then you just bring it out here, hook everything up, plug it in, and the machine does all the cutting for you. You're going to show us all this, right? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm going to do a whole series of videos on these, you know, running the software, how to make it all work, how to make it, you know, make everybody talk to one another, show you how the table actually works, how it cuts. The best thing about this is it gets rid of the shake. You know, when I'm using my handheld plasma, literally my heartbeat is enough to cause a little bit of a shake in the torch. If you're not running your handheld torch against the guide, you're going to wind up with a wiggle. So this will be the new guide. And the reason I went with the Dynatorch is there's a lot of different tables out there. This one seems to be the best made. It's got the thickest metal on it. That's what I was looking at with shipping weight on the different tables. This one was the highest for the size, your comparable size between all the different makes and models that I looked at. This one came with the plasma cutter. You got to pick which size you wanted, what amperage range you wanted, depending on how thick you want to cut with it. But it comes with a plasma cutter. It came with the correct torch to go to that plasma. It came with the desktop computer, with the software already loaded. There were even cut marks in the table where they had hooked up that plasma and that desktop and cut on this table. It came with a disc showing this table in operation. So you knew it was up and running before they put it in the crate. But I think the biggest thing that swayed me to buy this table was the support, the tech support that came with it. They put an extra program right on the desktop computer. I can call them on the phone, push one button, maybe two, <laughs> on the computer itself. That would allow them to come in remotely from the office, right into that computer, run this machine remotely. I can be talking to them at the same time while they're moving the mouse around, moving the cursor around on the screen. See this button? Click here. See that setting? Change it like that. You know. Now, turn the camera on on your phone, point it at the table, so he can see what's going on and he can fire the machine up. I can talk to him over the speakerphone and he can tell me what's going on, what's happening. Oh wait, stop, let's pause it. Go back over to your desktop. Let's change that setting just a little bit. It's just like having the guy stand in there next to you. You know, a couple of the other cool features with this table. This torch is actually mounted up here on magnets. So for any reason, if the metal happens to move, if it warps, you know, if the part you're cutting out falls down through the grid a little bit and the torch hits it, the torch will pop loose, it'll break contact, machine stops instantly. Another nice feature, it, it was actually an option, I paid a little more for it, but it's got a stainless steel water pan on the bottom of the machine. So you fill it up with water, about halfway up inside there, and as you're cutting, the water helps capture all the dust, you know, a lot of the smoke. You know, it helps keep the air a little bit cleaner around you. That's the biggest thing that impressed me with this machine was they thought about all these things. You know, I've played with it a little bit. I've made a couple of pieces, I've made a couple of parts for myself for a sculpture I'm working on. But as soon as I get a little bit better with it, I'll take you in the office, we'll fire up the software in there. I'll show you how to start. Take your part, come in here. This is what you have to do, be able to bring it outside to be able to make your cut. So, you know, walk you through the whole process. So I'm going to get back to on the computer in there and working on more parts and be ready to play with you guys. And you're going to just pop right over there and hit that subscribe button for me. I'll see you next time. You know, and one of the great things about this torch. Not that. <laughs>